Hi, everyone. He's Eddie Olchek. Ray Ferraro, you will see in here in just a moment. And I'm Mike Emmerich. Tonight, we focus on a team that is at the end of a long road trip, and it hasn't been good so far. But what do you tell them before the last, thank goodness, the last game? Well, if you can win this game, you don't have to worry about the prior games that you had on this long road trip. Let's make it a positive trip by ending it the right way and finding a way to win this game. Montreal's ownership and management team cannot be happy with the results of this trip to this point. There might be some big changes if they don't win this game here tonight. So the pressure is on to win this last game before they head back home off the road trip. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Marc-Andre Fleury is the goalie of choice tonight and had a Stanley Cup championship in Pittsburgh before his 25th birthday. In back-to-back -back Stanley Cup Finals, he won 30 of 44. Outstanding under pressure. Price has gotten the call to go to the other end of the ice for the Canadians. See that goals against average? He's right in there, very solid. The teams are ready and so are we. Crosby's the starting center for the Penguins. Galchenyuk's there for the Canadians. Pittsburgh's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. The Penguins, with that win in their last game, keeps the W train on the tracks. This team knows how to win. Montreal's had an aggressive mindset throughout these last 10 games. They forechecked extremely well. They've been aggressive and on the body. We'll see if they can impose their will on their opponent, who's played much the same way over their last 10. Price got the clock stopped. He and his team needed a breather. The Penguins have had an excellent last 10 games, and they're full of confidence. They were telling us this morning, even though their opponents have had an excellent last 10 games as well. Terrific shot, but a save. Pass attempt to Gallagher. Directing that one to Pacioretty. He's in on an onside play. Pacioretty's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Let's it go. Got his stick on it. And he'll cover. Pittsburgh's coaching staff is always prodding their players to be more aggressive, to finish checks, to separate body from puck. They don't have to tell him. He's always among the highest hit totals in the league. Clean win on the draw. Marvelous control, he kept it in. Good quick poke check there. Snapping a pass to Weber. Laid on to Galchenyuk. Skilled play by Hornquist. Nicely into the zone. Let's go, Arister. Grabbed. You can't ask for a better opportunity in the scoring zone. What a great glove save. That's a terrific glove stop. That is labeled for the top of the net. He's able to make a fantastic save. A little under five minutes have gone by. No goals to report yet. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Pass would not go. Canceled out by a physical play. Outstanding save with the glove. And he'll hold on. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Pittsburgh's got another win. A whistle and a rest. Price is going to stop that puck all night long. It's not a difficult shot, but it's his positioning that makes it look so easy. The Canadians with a clean win on the draw. Montreal's moving it up the wing. The refs caught something, a delayed call here. The Penguins will get a two-minute penalty for elbowing. More times than not, Doc, when you lead with your elbow, you're going to get a penalty. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Good job on the draw. It's cleared back, and this forces a recoil. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Onside. 
and the loose puck brought in by Oduya. Pitching this one to Bonino. Montreal's in possession as they travel along the boards. Sends to the point. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Big chance here. Oh, tremendous stop by Price. And they are in. Let's it go. Pat it away. Pittsburgh's done it. Back at full strength. Sent on further. They'll have to return. The Canadians waiting back in their own end. Pitching it to Oduya. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Whoa, what a play! With a wrister. Sticked away. The Penguins with possession in the defensive zone. Malkin's lost that puck in the offensive zone. He stick-handled himself into submission. Up the wing, making some headway. And a good save in the goal crease. Slid to Galchenyuk. Good defensive work there. Tip to the net. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. Well, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. Puck is thrown to Hornquist. Propel to Galchenyuk. Good work there. Shoots one. That shot's blocked. Gets in. What'll he do? He scores! taking a wrist shot it's all about weight transfer transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck that's exactly what happened there it looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit and when he guesses he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net a face-off win let's see what develops pass off the mark thanks to the defender's stick moved along and in blue pass Dogged determination there by Shea Weber. And the puck is scooped up by Petrie. Two immovable on breakaway. Brilliant save by Fleury. Gets play stopped. Now you can support the team in style. Visit our team store for all the latest styles of jersey, shirts, and Over four minutes remaining in the period. The Penguins lead 1-0. Face-off win here. The Penguins looking to head man up the wing. Turned a shot on net. Got a piece of it with the glove. Glides across. Pointed to Cole. A free puck now. On to Kunako. Great job with the neutralized interception. Nearing the 20th minute of this period. Shoots one. Ooh, what a break. One Shot minute. hit the man. In the fourth period. And the puck taken hold out by Crosby. Gets in, looks over his options here. Fires. Ooh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Wow, they caught him again. What a punishing night for him. 20 minutes have passed. They worked hard in that period. The Penguins are the only team to score, and they did it once. Take a look at the shots on goal. A lopsided total, 11 for Pittsburgh and 3 for Montreal. The Penguins have a lead. It is just one, and they did it this way. We'll be right back. One period played, a second period is about to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? The Canadians are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. Back near the blue line to Galchenyuk. 
scooped up by Pacioretty. That one's to him from his goaltender. Chip to Hagelin. Enormous collision. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Gains the zone. Lock loose now picked up. Passing one off now to Hagelin. Trying to go to Pacioretty. And he steps across the line. Good job with the poke check. And snap to Petrie. Drill. Nearly grazed the iron on that. I know what he's trying to do there, Doc, but you got to hit the net in this situation. Doc is picked up by Petrie. Oh, and he is drilled. Well, guys, he didn't see him coming until the last minute. That's a pretty solid contact. Pushing it on up the wing. And at an angle to Pouillot. Big drive. Gathered up. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Great stick stop here, guys. That shot was dangerous. He was able to deny it quickly with his stick. Pittsburgh's got it. Score! You're not going to see many shots harder than that. What a play. Price can't deny this perfect shot, Ed. So it's right inside the goal post, as you mentioned. Pittsburgh's got their second goal of this game. There may be more. They've been heavily out shooting the opponent. The Penguins prevail on the draw. Scored by number 10. Benino's tripped up. That should be a penalty. And so now a penalty will be handed out. Oduya's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is triple. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Penguins get their first power play opportunity of this contest. Let's see if they can make good on it. A good tie up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. Broke that play up at center. Sent out, and he'll make them chase it. And the loose puck taken by Puglia. It's an onside play. Laid on to Malkin. He is shut right off. That's a physical brand of hockey. And it's cleared out of there. And the puck is seized by Puglia. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. Malkin's not feeling too well right now after that big collision. For all you young hockey players out there, you cannot put yourself in that position. A little under nine minutes off the clock here in the second. Pittsburgh's lead on the strength of that recent goal is two. Broke it up well with the poke check. Slid to Bonino. And it's lifted back out of trouble. Must get it out. The Canadians are back even. Full strength action, the penalty kill. And it's driven away again to Hornquist. And it's turned aside. Looking to Oduya. Propelled to Petrie. Flings it. Blockered away. Moving it to Hagelin. Pass ahead. Oop. A collision. No luck on that pass. That puck out of play over the glass. The string of consecutive sellouts continues. Eddie, do you think players ever take this for granted? You take it for granted when there aren't fannies in the seats, Doc. You love when there's a full house because it gives you a lot of energy each and every night. Montreal's got that neutral zone faceoff. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Fires! Oh, stick save. Pass cut. Shot down for an icing. They are overwhelmed, and I guess they thought that was the best thing. And let's hear again from Ray. 
Pittsburgh's game plan is obviously body first, puck second, and as a result, they've opened up all kinds of space in the offensive zone. Well, you're right. This has been a hammering game by the team that's in the lead, Ray. The Penguins with a face-off win. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Gains the blue line. Chooses the corner. The Canadians carrying it in their own end. Has it picked up. To the point it comes. No! Having a heavy shot like that is great, but you got to hit the net. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. And the puck is grabbed by Bonino. Point to point to point. Perfect connection right through center. Forcing attention in deep. Good place to shoot from, and he does. The Canadians are starting back in the defensive zone. Gets across, looks over his options. Shoots. Got his pad on that one. Terrific interception. Strong play. Good reach. The Canadians wheel one ahead up the wing. Pass cut. To Hornquist. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. Always interesting to look at the shots on goal, and they are interesting here. 16 for the Penguins and 7 for the Canadians. Pittsburgh's insurance goal has staked them to the two-goal lead that you would expect them to have. Here it is one more time. We'll return after these words. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? The Canadians are one lucky bounce from getting back in this game, but what area of concern? Too many scoring chances they're giving up. Opening faceoff of the third period. Gets in. What'll he do? And the loose puck regathered by Pacioretty. To Gallagher. Let's it fly. Cut strong play. Play to be made now by Kessel. Now it's directed to Hagelin. On to Crosby. Tries to get it on net. Knocked right off the stick. A little pass from his goalie here. Chip to Galchenyuk. Gives it away and gets it back. Good intercept. Pass attempt to Hagelin. Into the attacking end. Fantastic shutdown. Possession taken over by Shea Weber. The Canadians have it in center ice. Has it back deep. Keeps it going up the wing. Directing that one to Malkin. Great save. The Canadians waiting back in the defensive zone. Laid on to Placanis. And possession snapped up by Vanek. The Canadians continue to probe up the wing. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Quick work on the faceoff. Save! Boy, he really had to battle through to see that screenshot. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Let's a shot go. Score!
And so sometimes you just get beat. And this is a clean shot that beats him off the post and in. Pittsburgh's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. And that's a face-off win. Snapping a pass to Bonino. Good work with the stick. Point to point, it goes to Puglia. Looking from the blue line. Didn't miss by much. The Canadians leave their own end. He gains the zone. Vanek's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. Gathered in by Oduya. Keeps it going in neutral ice. Brings a shot. Oh, deflected away. Zone to zone to Shiri. Take it away. To Verbata. It's dumped in. Back in his defensive end to get it. Into the end of attack. Montreal's carrying it in their own zone. Points it. Shot. A wonderful shot answered quickly. A missed opportunity from this close in. He scores! But maybe it's a high stick. They're going to signal no goal. Maybe they'll go upstairs. Looks like they will. There was no indecision there. The referee waved it off right away. But there is going to be a video review. Canadians tally is going to count on the board. The reviewed goal is good, but the whole crowd is furious with the decision. Montreal's deficit is now just two. Third period, still time to go. Let's go, guys. Pittsburgh's got it off the draw at center. Gains the zone. In the crease. Can't get it on net. Here's one of those times where you look at the net and there's nothing there. That's where you just got to shoot for the center of the net. The Canadians lug the puck in their own end. That one dropped back into the opposite corner. Slid to Shaw. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Outstanding save. Just on reputation. You can smell a goal there. Offside stops the clock. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. Pittsburgh's got another face-off win. Strong wrist shot. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. We are in the last minute of regulation time. Propelled to Petrie. Two sticks together, they cancel. On to Malkin. Snapped off a wrist shot. Terrific glove save. Recollected. 33 seconds left. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. They win the draw. Now can they get it out? One timer got in the way of that one, too. Price holds on, and that'll do. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. They won that face off. Can they clear it? And he gains the zone. The Canadians go for broke. Their goalie is pulled. Oh, a close call there. Oh, great cut. 
shoots. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. The goalie makes himself look big. And the game is over. The Penguins have another victory, and the winning streak continues to build. This team has been hot as of late. They're following their game plan. It's resulting in wins. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night. <laughs>